tied second place in the tournament. But both sides do still have that slim chance of actually taking home the Riga Cup with them today if Zenit slip up in the final game of today, which is coming up after this one against Skonta. So Meta in the green. They've won three of their four games convincingly, just losing to Zenit in the other game. And Honka, they've won two, they've drawn one game against Zenit, and they've lost in a surprise defeat to their Finnish counterpart to EPS. So Meta on nine points, Honka are on seven points going into this game. Meta in the green, Honka in the yellow. We kick off two halves of 25 minutes. Big support from both sets of supporters here. Lots of Meta fans are in the Squanta Hall today. It's a great day of football today. We've got the Riga Cup on this morning and then we've got FA Cup football in England this afternoon as well. A real weekend of cup football for everyone involved, young and old. There have been some really good players on both sides in this tournament. The number 25 for Meta, he's been a real star. Zaharov's up front and he could be one of the contenders for, for attacker of the tournament in my eyes. Also the goalkeeper, he can be pushing for the goalkeeper of the tournament as well. Plenty of early possession here for Meta. The quick number seven on the far side, trying to create something. And he's won his side a throw in on that far touch line. Two minutes gone in this one. And the Honka goalkeeper has it safely in his hands. Tella La Honka centre half has had a really good tournament as well. Here he is now. Good firm header from him. Honka keeping the ball well and a lovely ball over the top. He's got two options in the middle and the third one coming at the far post. Can he find the blo bloke at the far post? He couldn't get it past the near post of the goalkeeper and the goalkeeper's done really well there. Martin in was at the back post. But he just couldn't find him. And the goalkeeper did well diving down at his near post. And it's safely in his hands here as well. Always looking for that quick throw to launch another attack but again giving away cheaply there possession switching from team to team in these early moments and that's the first oh I thought it was the first corner of the match there but no the, the referee's given a goal kick and Meta can breathe a sigh of relief there Goalkeeper taking a long time here. Electing to play it short. Patient build up. Again, he's kicked it out of touch and Honka have an opportunity. Here, 
just didn't fall down to him. It took an eternity to fall down at him. And he gave the Meta defender a chance to take the ball off of his foot and clear it. Fall down at him. Over the park. Trying to launch another attack here for Honka. Here's Teller. Ball given away cheaply from him. He'd be disappointed with that one. And there's an opportunity here for the star of the tournament. Oh, fantastic save. The crowd can't believe it. And the goalkeeper has pulled off a fantastic save there from Zaharovs. I myself thought that was going to be a goal. But the goalkeeper performed. Goalkeeper. There was surprise around the crowd there that it never found its way into the back of the net. Metanin bursting run into the box and he's won his side a throw in. Yeah, the referee says throw in. He's very close to the corner flag there. Hard to tell. Still nil nil in this one. And Zenit will be hoping for a draw. The draw would be enough for Meta to claim second place in the tournament anyway. But they still have dreams and hopes of claiming the title. Scuffed clearance. Opportunity plays waved on by the referee. Good advantage from him. Driving run. And he's won his side the corner. Fantastic work there from Grebowski to number seven. And let's see if you can deliver. With this corner here. He's looking up. There's a runner going to the near post. He's played his shoot. He's going to want the ball back. And can he deliver from a better angle? This is better. Good ball in. Not cleared. And it's back to Grebowski's on the far side. Nice turn there. Bursting into the penalty box. And again, winning his side another corner. Still nil-nil in the game. Seven minutes gone in this first period. Grabowski has come off of corner, taking duties. And he's gone to the near post. A little bit of movement in the penalty box. Into a dangerous pos position now. But no one was able to get ahead onto that dangerous ball. And Honka managed to clear. Yamont, good ball in. And goalkeeper down safely. The ball there. He's had a very good tournament as well, the Honka goalkeeper. They haven't conceded too many goals in this tournament, Honka. Teller gets it clear. It looks like Honka have only conceded three goals in the tournament. So a very good defence from them. Defence is very hard to breach. in
a goalkeeper because he just hasn't had much to do in this in this tournament. I can't think of a save that he's had to make. That's how good the Zenit defence has been. Calio goes down looking for something there. He's been a very lively player in this tournament as well. He's given a few goals to his name. And Meta win themselves another corner here. He looks like the number 19 is stepping up over this one. Yamont, Christopher Yamont. He's had a very good tournament as well. He had a very good game yesterday, claiming two or three assists in that match. Great ball in again. Free header there. But he just didn't get the direction onto that with a spectacular diving header. And he's trying to get back into position now. Nice touch there. It's one on one with the goalkeeper. That's a fantastic. And that challenge was by the number 10 there. Great challenge after the initial mistake that he made. He looked almost certain that the Honka player was gonna, at least going to have an opportunity to shoot. But this man here, he stopped that from happening. Taxo on the ball, heavy touch, and Zaharov's on the ball. Yamons is making that run again. He's so quick, this player. He's driven it. Oh. And the ball was unable to be, he to be kept in there. But another good opportunity. Zaharov's and Yamons linking up very well down this right-hand side. Lil pushing the back there from the player. And we're approaching the halfway mark in this first half. Still nil-nil. And the happier team with this result will be Zenit. Metanin making that run down this left-hand channel. Good switch of play by Honka. He's had a go from a long way out. That's very optimistic. Out. Lots of encouragement being shouted by the Latvian coach very vocal he's telling these players to listen to him get out get out he's saying he wants him to push up with that high line and Zaharov's on his own Yamons quick in support but strong defending there from Honka that's what the good sides have they have that speed in their side like the other sides in this competition Daugava EPS they don't have that outlet of that speed but here Meta they have a few outlets Grabovskis, Zaharovs, Yarmonts. And here he is, keeping it in play. Again, Grabovskis. And Honka trying to build something patiently from the back. Found Teller. The number 15 in the middle of the park. But again, a wayward, but again, a way.
not much space out there on that far touch line. And Meta deal with it well. To find a player, but he hasn't. And Meta, they can launch another attack here. Yamons is shown for it. Just the pass was a little bit off target there. 15 minutes gone in this first half, 10 minutes left. Still nil nil. Driven from a long way out, again, optimistic there from... from a one goal might be enough in this one to win it. Yamon's trying to get on the end of that, but the goalkeeper taking no chances and just sides footing it out of play. We've got one more game to go in this tournament after this match. It's Skonta versus Zenit. Run out of space there. And Honka managed to get it clear again. Top to Maiton in. Oh, again, the number 10, he's done a good job there. They need to spread the play out to the left hand side and start again. From right to left and left to right, Yarmons has made that run again. Dangerous player. Very acute angle there. And it would have been very difficult to put that past the goalkeeper there. Yeah, from them from the meta player. But again a, a way would pass after some good work. Need to come out here to this touchline, driving forward, and he's found this danger man again, Yamont. Inside, Zaharov's on the ball. He's crowded out again. There's not a lot of space in that penalty box. Yamont has kept it on, and that's easy for the goalkeeper. Six and a half minutes left in this first half. Still nil nil. Both defences win in the battle at the moment. Honker throw. late no referee didn't deem so and if they get something from this it could be a little bit controversial Again, just off balance as he hit that but another opportunity for meta and the meta crowd are in full voice again now quite a big crowd in for this one 
on on a Sunday morning. The winter is trying to turn into spring outside. Spring should arrive this week, hopefully. It's been a long, long winter here in Latvia. And I hope it arrives soon because I am running out of firewood as well, so. But this match is definitely warming up the atmosphere here in the Latvian capital. Bit of a shirt pull there, but it's gone the other way. Referee's seen something there, and he's given Honka the free kick. Taxa takes it. Again, there's three meta players surrounding him. Palio on the ball, Teller. Taxa, Serala, Honga having a little bit of possession here. Defended there for Meta. Taxa has hit it. He's hit it. Just drifted wide of the far post there. Post there. Yeah. You might be able to hear behind me the chant of Meta. This honker side are very difficult to break down. Very well organized side at the back. Maybe just missing that little bit of a special player up top for them. Whereas Meta, they do have those danger men up top. And that could be the difference between the two sides in this one. into the last couple of minutes here. Can somebody find a goal before half time? Good header there. And well cleared. Teller watched the bounce well there. He did ever so well bringing that ball down, which was spinning high in the air. Head tennis here. Opportunity if you can find your Mont. He found him, fantastic ball. Zaharov's in the middle. Second opportunity for your Mont. But the goalkeeper pulls it down safely from the air and there's one minute left in this first half good touch no nothing there he's looking for that Honka frustrating Meta at the moment. 
and let's see what the Meta manager is going to say to his team at half time. To inspire Meta. Unless they can find that goal just before half time. The referee's looking at his watch. That's it. Nil nil at half time. Welcome back to the second half here in the Riga Cup under 12 competition, live from the Skonto Hall in Riga, Latvia. Second half here in the match between Honka in the yellow, Honka of Finland, and Meta of Latvia in the green. And it's nil nil at the moment. There's only one more game after this left in this year's tournament. And at the moment, as it stands, if this game finishes in a draw, Zenit will claim the Riga Cup without having to kick a ball. If one of these teams can find a victory, it keeps the tournament alive going into that last game. Both teams will be hoping, if they do pull off a victory, that Skonta can cause a major upset in beating Zenit in that final match. Meta taking the throwing very quickly. Driving run into the box. Closing down from Honka. Reeled in. Is he onside? Yeah, he is. Grabowski's. He'll chip over and on to. Is it But it definitely wasn't intentional there from the Honka player. So far, Saharov's a danger man. He's had a fairly quiet game for his standards. Yamon's driving in again. And again, he just can't chip it over that goalkeeper's head. He's, the goalkeeper's doing a great over that goal. Probably in this game, one of these two goalkeepers will claim that title. And maybe the Honka player is just edging it at the moment. Booted straight into the Honka player's head. Taxar there. Calio on the ball now, the number four. Trying to play it through. And he's found the target somehow. Bobbling around like a pinball in the box. He was offside. But again, there's no linesman. Referee plays the advantage. Could be some controversy here. That's a goal. Definitely offside though. But with no linesman, no assistant referees, the referee wouldn't have seen that. Yarmonts gets the goal. And that's 1 0 to Meta. Zaha Robs, he had strayed into an offside position and he was coming back. And he was the man who played that key pass through to Yamont. But Meta won't be complaining about that one. I just wondered why in all the other age groups they've had two assistant referees, but in the under 12 they've elected not to have them. And Zenit will have to get something against Skonta in that last game. 
Going against Sconti. Sconti have 12 points. Zenit have 10 points at the moment. And no doubt all the Meta fans will be staying behind, hoping for a Sconti victory. Drilled into the box. Honka, can they find a way back into this game? Five and a half minutes gone in the second half. Meta leading 1 0 and leading the tournament as it stands. But just remember, they have played a game more than Zenith. patient football here from Honka. Zaharov, nice step over. He's had a go. It's on target, but it's straight at the goalkeeper. Quick kick out. Good pass there. There to get a foot in and put it out. Get a out. Get a coming back from the offside position when he played that pass. I like there's no overhead kick there attempt opportunity whipped in again he's gone for it and again kept in by Yamon starting again spreading it from right to left good football here from Meta so, from by Honka Bit of a shirt pull there. Yeah, the referee's seen that one. Eight minutes gone in this second half. Calio playing in a different position in this game. He's normally a lot further forward than that. This could finish it. Zaharovs. Again, he'd be disappointed with that one. In this game so far, he hasn't lived up to those expectations, and he's very close to being maybe one of the forwards of the tournament if he can pull it out. The bad for Jan Mons, he's up there as well, the wide winger, come forward. There's only one standout actual player in this tournament, head and shoulders above everyone else. And that's smell of the number 17 of Zenith. Fantastic player. He's probably been the best player I've seen in any age group in this tournament. And he's only at the age of 11.
Hopefully if he's dealt with that well. And it still remains one nil. And it Good challenge there from the 77. So Meta putting the pressure on Zenit in their last match. Still dreaming that they can keep the Riga Cup here in Latria. Beautiful looking trophy on that far side. And Meta will be hoping that they can put their hands on it. <laughs> Coming away with the ball. I think one goal here for Meta might be enough to win this one. Both defences on top. This could finish it. Zaharov offside again. This time the referee's seen it and he's given it. That's one thing about this player. Great attack. He just needs to watch that line when he's got an opportunity like that. Looks like there's going to be a lot of substitutions here from Meta. Three or four players coming onto the field. Players coming onto the field. <laughs> Meta trying to put the goalkeeper and Honka under a lot of pressure here, making it difficult for them to escape. Honko doing a good job. And they've played Keskinen down the, the line here. And luckily for the Meta player, the poor clearance ricocheted off his Keskinen and went back to their goalkeeper safely there. Launched forward again long. So the Honka defender deals with it well. in this game Meta still leading by that slender one goal advantage referee playing the advantage there Calio doing well to retain possession with the Meta midfielder biting at his ankles there Honka need a little bit of magic here if they're going to get anything out of this game There's not much space out there in this middle of the park. He had a pop from a long way out. We know he can hit it, we saw that yesterday. But that was very, very optimistic.
Good link up play between the two danger men, Yarmont and Zaharov. And that's been to end. And there's the man there. He's finished it. The three danger men up top. The front three have been working wonders all tournament between them. Zaharov played in Yamons down the right hand side. His cross eluded the goalkeeper. And this small man eluded the goalkeeper. <laughs>
due to their superior head-to-head -head record against Meta. They, they beat Meta 4-0 in an earlier game. So Zenit just need to draw that last game to be crowned champions. But if Skonta can find a victory, if they can beat Zenit, then the trophy will be staying in Latvia with this team in green, Meta. Opportunity here for Taxa, if they can launch quickly. No real support though, again. Ponka, they're going to have to learn to commit more men forward. Opportunity at the back post, first time. Good save there from the Meta goalkeeper. Keeping the two goal advantage. He's looking for Grabowski's. Good ball through, excellent vision. And Zaharovs is back on the pitch again now, trying to find another goal to add to an impressive tally in this competition. Three and a half minutes left in this game. And it looks like Meta are going to run out victors in this game. Honka now committing four men forward, trying to get something, but this could lead to a Meta third goal. Good defending there from the 21, strong defending. Meta giving their opposition no time on the ball. Pressing all the way up the pitch. It's been another good performance from Meta in this competition. They've had a really good competition and they could yet be champions. Zahorov's driving on. He wants a goal. Been on. Two minutes left in this one. Trying to turn, but the defender read that and he was able to make the challenge. Still 2 0 to Meta. Goals from Yamons and Grabowski's separating the two sides. to get a third high ball there maybe not the best option he should have kept that on one on the ground and time's just ticking down now just into the last minute of the game now Grabowski has got involved again. Sure. Will they get it? They've got themselves a throw in deep inside the Honka territory. 30 seconds left in this game. Last opportunity for Meta to extend their lead. That looks like it's going to be it. The referee's looking at it. The referee's looking at it. We're into added on time now.
Oh, ricochet. That's it. Referee's whistle to his mouth. Mitter have won the game. 2-0 against Honka. They're top of the group.